Katie P. Hi, I'm Allie, and welcome to my kitchen. And I'm going to be doing something that a lot of people do. Breakfast for supper. And I, for breakfast, I make it homemade waffles. We have homemade waffles and some fried sausage. And I've already done fried sausage on a video. If you haven't seen it, go back and check out my sausage gravy recipe. It was like my third video, I think. And you'll see me frying sausage. Okay. But this is for the homemade waffles. And I'm fixing to give you my list of ingredients. In my pan here, I have two cups of all-purpose flour. That's plain flour. And here I have a, I want to say it's a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. Let me check my recipe. Uh, fourth of a teaspoon of salt. Mix into that. And here I have four teaspoons of baking powder. Okay, put that in there. Make sure it's all in there. Now I'm going to take my whisk and just whisk all this stuff right here together. Okay. That's blended pretty well. Now I'm going to work on my wet ingredients. I'm going to slide this right here over here. Out of the way just a second. And if you notice here, I've got my waffle iron already heating up and getting hot. In my measuring cup, I have one and three-fourths cup of milk and a half a cup of vegetable oil. I've already got them mixed together in here. To that I'm going to add between a half and one teaspoon of vanilla flavor, one tablespoon of sugar, and my two eggs. Look at me, y'all. I'm just popping stuff everywhere. I'm good at that. Okay. Get that off me. When in your shop, you ain't making a mess, you ain't getting no work done. That's my sh The shop is my kitchen, and my, my kitchen is my shop. And like I said, if you ain't making a mess, you ain't getting nothing done. And I'm always making a mess in here. Okay, you just want to blend all that up together, and I'm just using a fork. I use fork to beat my eggs and everything else. So I just. Yeah, she in. puts a whooping on them. Looks like he's putting a whooping on me tonight and just keeps throwing everything up at me. That, that's it, giving up, trying to get away. Well, if I have milk and egg hanging from my hair, y'all, y'all understand why. Uh, Oops. <laughs> Sounds like Hack Kid had forgotten to cut his coffee pot off. Shh. <laughs> hey, it's okay. All right, y'all. Now we're getting ready for the fun stuff. Wait, I got it now. <laughs> okay, I'm fixing to start pouring my wet into the dry. And I'm going to whisk it together as I go. And the thing about this batter is once you get it made up, you can use it for waffles or you can use it for pancakes. If you want to use it for pancakes, I would suggest adding maybe a fourth more cup of flour to it. You gonna re reuse that measuring pitcher? Uh, no, sir. I'm through with that. I'm just gonna make sure I got everything out of it, and I'll hand that over to you. All right. I'll set these over here with this and that. Okay. And I, you see, I'm just whisking this together with a hand whisk. If you're wanting to get it done quick, I guess you can use a blender or not a blender, but a hand mixer. So you don't really have to have one. A whisk will incorporate everything the way you want it and need it. One of those immersion blenders like we got would work too. Yeah, an immersion blender would work. But no harder than that is to mix together. And you see it's almost done right there. Pig likes power toes, so he'd use the immersion blender. Get it done, get it done quick. Yep. Okay, uh, that's my batter right there. I'm going to set that in there, work her out of my way. Okay, the other ingredient I have is my cooking spray. Don't know if y'all can say that, but Pig walked off and rinsed that off for me, so I'm thinking y'all can probably see that. 
And I have a pair of tongs, which you can use whatever you want. And I've got a ladle. And the ladle is so that I can put my batter on my waffle iron. Rinsing it in the pitcher, I just rinsed out too. <laughs> okay. Can somebody put a dirty in or somewhat cleaned it? I'm good at that. Yes, she is. I think this is a Presto, but I'm not sure. Let me see it. I don't see a name on it anywhere, Pig. But it's hot. It's definitely hot. I've had this we'll, thing. We'll find out later. But I, I think she's, it's either a Black & Decker or a Presto. It's one of the two. But I've had this thing for years. And you can see it's hot. It's steaming. And to do waffles, just simply spray the upper and lower. And you can do one or two ladles. I'll probably do two ladles, I think. So it takes one on each side. And away we go. Uh -huh. We get that in there. Then you just take any pressure or floor you lid. It yep. looked like it was filled all the way up, so I don't know how that'll turn out. Well, I don't want to get it over full. I'm good about getting it over full and letting, get, letting the batter get everywhere. You want to grab me a couple forks, pig? Where are my forks? Oh, there's my fork. Now, like I said, I'm really good about uh, overflowing this thing and having batter everywhere. Almost jabbed myself with that fork, yeah. That wouldn't have been good. Nope. And to go on our waffles, you can't have waffles without syrup and butter. And we got the good stuff this time, y'all. Oh. Found that on sale at the grocery store. At least for me, that's on sale because normal price for it is nearly five dollars. So. If you're not sure what 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 good stuff is, it's called Mrs. Butter's Wear. Yeah, buddy. Okay, that's steaming. We're gonna look at it. Oh yeah, that's looking oh, good. Oh, that turned out good. Yeah, we're gonna let like that a get big good. fat waffle. Yeah, we're gonna let that get good and brown. And uh, it's gonna take about, I want to say, a good five to seven minutes for that to cook. So what I want to do is probably take a quick break and come back when it's done. Cause all y'all gonna do is just sit there and watch it cook. I mean, ain't no reason for that. So we'll take a break. Okay. Waffle oh, is done. Oh boy. And I'm gonna try doing this. Well, as you see, it's gonna That's come That's all off. right, it'll eat the same. It's gonna come off in pieces. I, I, I'd, I'd be cutting them triangles out anyway. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and put two on my plate and two on the pig's plate. We'll get started with this. And I'm going to, before we get started, I'm going to put some more batter on here and let another one cook. I can usually eat, usually eat a whole waffle by myself. A lot of times I can't. They we'll probably going to have him a couple of them. We don't get these that often. No, we don't. Not that we couldn't, we just don't. <laughs> I don't eat a lot of carbs if I can help it. And this is one carb that, and I probably overflowed that because I have a feeling that's going to. We'll deal with it. Yeah. It's called clean up. Yep. Okay. I've got some butter here. I'm going to put some butter on this thing. Let it melt down. Oh, yeah. And no, I didn't spray that again, but I, when I sprayed it a while ago, I had quite a bit on there. And y'all, I hadn't even opened this syrup. Nope, I have not opened the syrup. Brand new. Let me lay that right there for a minute. Y'all just seeing me get all messed up over here. Now I'm going to pour a little bit of syrup on that. Now I'm going to let the pig do his own syrup, y'all. And I have a piece of sausage here I'm going to eat with mine. I'm going to let the happy guinea pig grab his own sausage. Okay. 
What for it better coming back up than it did having it turned over? Mm-hmm. Well, you're going to do an upscope, then we'll do a bite and see how quick this can be. We got steam coming up from this cooker here. Oh, boy. All right. Cut into that waffle there, y'all. Mm. A little bit of that butter on there. Got to have some butter on that waffle make it taste good. We gotta have a good bite. Oh, it of that. tastes good without it, but it just tastes a little better with it. Mm. Mm. Ain't nothing makes homemade waffle, y'all. And it's that simple mm. to make. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's so good. Mm. Well, I'm gonna cook probably. After this one, one more waffle. If I have any batter left, I'll save it. We might have them tomorrow. Yeah, sounds good to me. <laughs> I want to thank y'all very much for watching my video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that red subscribe button and click that bell icon next to it, and you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Everybody have a great day. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. Where am I going?